In the middle of this economic downturn and the financial crisis facing the state, students from the university system, the state university system, want to make sure lawmakers send their schools enough money next year. The students are worried about cuts in programs and activities. They're also worried about tuition hikes. One group from the western part of the state is even battling a rumor that their campus might be shut down. Channel 3 Iowa News reporter Eric Parker spoke with students as they visited with lawmakers at the Capitol today. When a group of college students shows up anywhere early in the morning, you know they probably have a good reason for being there. When it's something we care about, we get up, we get moving. That's what we've always done best. We don't have to be motivated any more than that. The students from Western Connecticut State University came to the Capitol Complex today asking lawmakers to make sure they're not forgotten when the budget for next year is put together. 90% of people that graduate from the CSU system stay in Connecticut and are the educated workforce that drive our economy. The economy is issue number one at the Capitol this year. Rumors have circulated that if worst-case budget scenarios come true, Westcon could actually be shut down. The students say they know cuts are coming. They just hope the cuts won't be too deep. It's not irresponsible to not um, expect some sort of uh, a leeway. Um, however, we are, we are looking for as much as possible. The students fanned out around the legislative office building, hoping to corner a lawmaker for a quick chat. They also had a group meeting with the delegation from Danbury. It's really good to see them come out, stand up for their school, and show how important it is to them, and also let the legislators know that how great WestCon is. And the students from WestCon were not alone. There were actually students here from other state university campuses, all trying to make an impression on lawmakers. In Hartford, Eric Parker, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.